What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcut. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so, we're going to... What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. So Cupid's Corner, if you guys are just tuning in for the first time, covers things that are going to help you guys excel, get tips, tricks, and hopefully some info that's going to help you in your relationship currently, or if you're not in a relationship, your future relationship or future partnership, or whatever you want to call it nowadays. <laughs> so at that point, we're going to give you some advice that maybe me and Sharice have went through, we've observed, or we've got from other people that have been successful in these different areas. Um, we know that everybody is in a relationship of some type out there, right? Even if they're in a relationship with themselves. So, you know, you just, you learn from a lot of mistakes that you make along the way, but if you can get a cheat sheet to really help you out, maybe uh, give you some of those answers before you make those problematic decisions, then maybe it'll help you guys and make you a happier, uh, fulfilled person. Right? Happier, healthier person. Happier, healthier yeah. person. Yes, yeah, I like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. good. I That's like right that. out of his mouth. He I just like doesn't that. realize it. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, this week we're going to cover something you guys should probably look for in the relationship before it gets too serious, right? Because, you know, relationships start out hot and heavy for a lot of different reasons. This could be on looks, this could be on intelligence, right time, right place. Who knows, right? A lot of different relationships, especially nowadays, um, the way they start can start in a number of different ways out there. Mm -hmm. um, and infatuation can set in in the beginning, and at that point, you kind of look past everything else. And then after that, infatuation kind of goes down, and you really start conversating and talking and uh, you know, spending a lot more time together, you're going to come across some different things. Um, and then at that point, you want to think about taking this relationship further. So when you're thinking about taking this relationship further, there's probably some different questions that you're probably going to want to ask your partner and get the answers from because it might be a deal breaker on your side or a deal breaker on their side. And you just don't know which side you really, you really don't talk know. about. It, right? And um, I guess the, the question before you bring it up is going to be, how do you pull it out of them? So I think it's just a general, general conversation is when you pull it out of them. It's nothing like you go to them like, Hey, listen, like, for example, what we're going to talk about today was having the same morals, ethics, and values. So, you know, this is, this is a pretty serious topic. With right. You just like, you're just having dinner with somebody and eating, you know, a little steak, having a mimosa or something and be like, Hey, so just real quick, while, while, we, while we have this wonderful dinner, can you please tell me what your, what your morals and values are? Cause we want to make sure that they're aligned. So, you know, God forbid we don't agree 10 years from now that, that I don't know if there's some things you just. There's some things that people are just set in stone about yeah. and you're not going to change their mind. Okay. And then I guess, you know, over time things change, you might be able to mold them into at least meeting so you at a halfway you know. point. Right. But there's still some things that are just set in stone that are just not going to change. Right. This is true. This I is mean, very true. We won't get into politics or anything, but it's a whole different animal, uh, especially <laughs> nowadays. Right. You know, people are fighting, hurting each other over this. Um, but no, but I, I do agree. And you know, what is the right time or what is the right way? I don't think there's really a right answer for that. But I do think that you know, when you're starting the relationship, when you're starting to spend time with people, you kind of see a little bit but you don't see everything because it, it might be that front still. Mm -hmm. But when that front comes down, you kind of see who that person is or how they handle situations. And that kind of sets a tone of, you know, what they do, like morals, ethics, and values, or what they might say to people. You know, honestly, now I'm kind of thinking about it. So, you know, I really feel like whenever you are having these conversations with your significant other, new significant other, even your current significant other, old significant other, whatever you want to call it, um, there is most certainly a way to 
present things to where they talk to you, you know? Yeah. So it's not such a shallow conversation. Or an interrogation. Some, right, or an interrogation, you know, yeah. but kind of just open up the doors and maybe even ask questions. You don't have to ask questions in an interrogative style. I'm very interrogative. However, not everybody can handle that type of behavior, you know? John, John handles me well. This, Thank God. this works out great. Thank God. <laughs> Somebody could handle me. Yay! God has sent me a blessing, a man that can handle me. It's great. Thank goodness for giving me patience. <laughs> Thank goodness. Um, but, you know, I think there's definitely a setting where you, you're able to open up dialogue, right? Open yeah. up dialogue and be able to talk to each other. Yeah. And, you know, be like, what's your thought on this? It's always the open-ended questions, you know? Um, and if you're talking, if you continue talking and you just keep talking, usually you're not going to be able to hear anything your significant other is saying. So mm -hmm. you can talk X amount, but then allow your significant other to speak as well, or you'll never get to hear their end or yeah. really be able to process it. And don't bite their head off when they say it. If they say something you don't like, I mean, it is what it is. They probably won't share anything else with you at that mm -hmm. point. But, you know, there's there's some other topics, too. So, I mean, or morals, ethics, and values, you know, what do you guys think about it? What do you guys think your kids should be doing growing up? How they should they be acting? You know, such like that. I mean, we could, I, I'll, I'll use an example. You know, I like using real-life examples. Sure. So, um, John, right, he went to military school. And, no, he did not go to military school because he was bad, if you can believe that or not. Um, he chose to go to military school on his own. I've never heard of this, I swear. I even confirmed with his parents. I'm like, this is crazy. Nobody actually goes to military school because they want to, right? It's usually because you're a bad child and you get tossed into military school because you're bad. I like structure. Okay. So, John went to a very structured school, private school type setting, right? I, however, I grew up in a public school, right? And I went to public school my whole life. I don't know what it's like to be on that side. John did go to public school for one year. Yeah. And he, so he kind of knows what it's like on this side. But we now have our child. And now we have to say, okay, do we want our kid to go to public school? Or do we want our kid to go to private school? John obviously wants Peter, our son, wants him to go to private school. I, on the other hand, wanted, <laughs> we're going to use past tense, wanted him <laughs> to go to public school. And it's only because I wanted him to get very well versed and understand the real world not saying that in private school you're not going to get that but you know in my opinion i feel like you know there might be things you can experience in public school that you might not get to experience in a private setting which could be good and could be bad more bad than good nowadays, um, for, sure. <laughs> nowadays for sure but this is just a really good it's a great example because this could be a very serious problem that you guys might be, not saying it's a deal breaker, you guys are gonna have a divorce over it. Yeah. I mean, but it, it could be a pretty big problem if you guys are not going to agree on yeah. this because one person might be, he might be really stuck and be like, no, listen to me. The kid is going to private school. I went to private school, I went to military school. He might even be like, hey, I'm shipping the kid off to military school. I'm be like, no, the kid isn't going to military school. I want the child here. So there's an abundance of examples, but that one actually is probably the most recent example that comes to my mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what it is. I mean, you want your, your kids to have manners, per se. You know, you teach them to have manners. There's people out there that don't teach their kids to have manners. Um, or they don't have manners themselves. And at that point, it reflects, you know, who they are to a certain extent. Um, these things are, you know, they're, they're, they can, like I said, they can be deal breakers. You know, as long as nobody's hurting anybody, it really doesn't matter if you agree with it or not. It's totally up to them on how they want to live their life. And if you agree with it and you want to be a part of that, that's totally on you, right? Um, but you know, the other thing is, is that, you know, I mean, things like, let's say you got a relationship with somebody and you really want to have kids and the other person really doesn't want to have kids. This could be a serious deal breaker, right? And these are things that need to be talked about. Not in the first date, not in the first week <laughs> of the date, but when you guys start getting a little bit more serious, let's say, and you guys are really talking about going more of a distance at that point we're going to say, hey, listen, well, this might not be what I want, right? right. And, and you can't think that you're just going to change that person's mind or change the way they think or change the way they were raised. Um, in some instances, if the person wants to change, they could. Yeah. But in most instances, they're probably not going to. So um, at that point, 
you know, this is just something to think about. It's important. Right? Right? It is important. If you're already in a relationship, you've been in a relationship. Then you should probably get the information out now. Or you, you probably go, already know. Go down, go down the list, right? Go through, you know, the, the children and, and then religion and then the uh, next thing and the next thing. You know, you could leave politics for last because, listen, I don't do politics. Yeah. I don't really, it's irrelevant to yeah. me. But, you know, just maybe go down the line a little bit and make sure that you guys all align. And just remember, guys, one thing I can say is that you know over time things change so you can agree on something in the beginning it's going to be this perfect world white picket fence and then all of a sudden it changes into something totally different you might have different factors that flow into your life that you did not expect um good or bad you know um and just you know just kind of go with the flow but i do think that the ground morals should definitely be established Absolutely. So <laughs> this is another awesome show of Cupid's Corner with me and my beautiful wife, Sharice. We're here every Sunday on ABC for you guys, 11 a.m. And don't worry, if you didn't DVR it, which you can, don't worry about it. Go to YouTube. You guys can check it out at Tight Medical Center. Just type that in. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the all notification bell. Make sure you guys are checking our social media too as well. Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Twitter. And any other good ones that are going to be coming about here very shortly. So we appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Thank you for your support. We'll see you next week on another Cupid's Corner. See you then.